So is this finally the day? I'm seeing Founders Upgrade, I'm getting excited. For those of you who are wondering what I did, I literally just went out of Ultimate Team and came back in. Tell me I've got an evolution for Founders Upgrade in here. I don't. Where is it then? Oh, here we go. In the store is Founders Upgrade. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Is this what I think it's going to be? FC Founders Upgrades in the building, complete founder evolution. So that means Kola Mawani and Nunez are eligible. That is huge. Oh my days, what are the boosts? Okay, so it's a plus two, which isn't like insane, but it's super easy to do as well. You just got to play two squad battle games essentially, and you get yourself an 86 rated Nunez. Obviously, this is all up to whoever you chose. By the way, let me know who you did, by the way, in the comment section. Also, it's my birthday today. So if you feel a little generous, smash a cheeky like on the video. Sub if you are new. I would really appreciate that. Darwin in the building. Looks pretty solid, to be fair. 86 rated. Or 88 rated Kolo Moani. It has to be Kolo, right? There's no way I can't do this, man. Like, the stats boost is incredible, in all honesty. We get, to be fair, playstyle is just power shot, which could be better. But realistically, 86 to 88 is huge. Especially for a card like Kola Moani. Gets 94 pace, 90 dribbling, which is beautiful. But then Darwin Nunes is the man that I've been wanting to upgrade for so long. What do I do here? I honestly don't know. Let me know what you're doing. Who did you do for your first Founders Evo and, of course, the second one? I'm happy EA have dropped this finally as well. Should have done it a little bit sooner, in my opinion, because nowadays, like, an 86-rated Nunes could be a little bit more on the outdated side. But Kola Mawani, nevertheless, looks absolutely phenomenal. Before we end this video, it's going to be a nice short one, by the way, obviously, because it's going to be specific-based Founders Evos. Obviously, we can't do brand new ones here. I want to see if I can have a look at the best cards possible from this. I think we can. Let's have a little browse real quick. I hope you guys don't mind me doing this. Uh, we're going to foot.gg again. Take a look at some of the best ones that you guys hopefully have uh, forged or put together here. Uh, of course, with the brand new Founders Evolution, a fair few new cards are floating about. Nikita Paris is a big fan favourite at the start. Brand, hold up. I've done this girl a case as multiple. Oh, I can, to be fair, on the RTG, I got this evolution. So I could go all the way up to this card here, which is pretty crazy. I might consider doing that. I might consider starting something else. We've got Anyomi here. Ayomi. Anyomi? Words? Can I speak them? Uh, she looks pretty crazy, to be fair. I'm pretty certain that is a team of the week into a Founders Evo. It is. A 91 pace, 90 dribbling. Looks pretty mad. Raheem the Dream Sterling in the building. Uh, not a bad op option, realistically, with a 5-star skill. is very, very nice, but... In my opinion, Kola Mawani betters him. Saar, unfortunately, isn't on the game. If she was, 5-star, five 5-star, five with these stats, yes, now nah, she would be massively popular. Big Tammy Abraham to an 89-rated EA. Okay, no, never mind. Never mind. That's a bit of a grind. I think there's only one paid Evo here. If you're a Tammy Abraham fan, there's no harm in getting this done, in all honesty. Uh, but he's only 4-star, 3-star, not super meta, and probably better cards on the market because then you've got to pay at least 75k for that upgrade uh, but still that's a nice one nevertheless uh, any other absolute mad people we see on here Gerson Rodriguez a few of you guys actually commented on my previous video based around Founders Evo that you've actually done this man five star two star isn't ideal is that the Turkish Super League as well yeah I don't know it's an avoid for me honestly person doesn't look too bad but links is going to be a massive issue I think we're getting down to like the original cards here um Lorien looks pretty solid my boy Rafa Oh, that's big. We actually spotted him in the first, uh, well, when the second Founders Evo came out. Five star, three star, 96 pace, 90 dribbling. He looks absolutely cracked. What a card. Any other absolute worldies down here? Uh, Maina, who remembers this man from last year? The silver card was in my silver team. Absolute demon. Tillman looks pretty solid, to be fair. So does Teller. Did I tell you what? This upgrade is a W, man. Big fan of it from EA Sports. This lad's dribbling looks absolutely mental and honesty. Fair play to him. Uh, anyone else down here? I just wish that Saar was eligible. Zorori. Timo. All right. He was one of the original founders, wasn't it? Yeah. FC. Oh, no. FC founders too. I think it still counts, right? It was the same upgrade. I'm pretty certain. Um, but Timo Werner, the burner, 86 rated. He might be popular. Of course, he does have, I believe, a Centurions card. Uh, John's, John's daughter here with some serious pace. Amur Saragiri as well. 
92 pace sitting on Jibbin. There's the old Wizzy. Ooh, Birinstein. Some of these names are tough, by the way. Apologies, I'm going to butcher them. Looks pretty mad with the 92 pace and 90 dribbling. Kai, King Kai is getting an SBC during Winter Wildcard, so that's probably going to be higher rating. But those of you guys who did do Kai Havertz, his Founders Evo gets a nice 5 star, 4 star upgrade. I'm trying to keep an eye out for. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to keep an eye out for cards that uh, a lot of people did towards the start. Okay, this is a chain one. Is that. It's probably better stats than Sensu, uh, Centurion Sharpshooter, isn't it? 5 star, 4 star. Wow, 86 rated. Okay, EA, I'm liking this. Night you! Who's this man? Midfield Dynasty. Budding Starlet. This guy, you can still do this guy, by the way. 97 pace, 90 dribbling. In the Liga Santander. Wow. Four star, three star is a bit of an L, but that's a crazy looking evolution. I reckon he's going to be super rare as well. If you get him done, let me know down below. I still got all these options on my actual RTG, by the way. So I might need to kind of change something. I've been stacking at evolutions over there. Moses Simon, absolute demon. 94 pace, 90 dribbling. He looks insane. Striker with 5 star, 4 star. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to do something here. I need to figure out the most meta sweaty option for this evolution. Lewis Openda. What am I seeing? Oh my god. Yeah, fair enough. He's, his promo cards are money. If, pretty soon he's got like a, uh, an 88 rated, which probably won't have much better stats than that. With 4 star, 4 star as well. I'm getting excited, man. This boy again, right? He could be a shout. Bru Brugu? Brugui? I don't know how you say his name. There's so many crazy cards, by the way, that I'm not even like touching on here. Felipe Anderson's a big fan favorite. Chuba Akpom in the building. Trossard, actually a big fan of his... Uh, I think I've got an 85 Evo version of him already. Uh, Carlos Jr. looks pretty stacked. I swear he had an SBC last year. I might be wrong. Anderson Taliska in the building. I mean, Koenigsdorfer here. Uh, that's a tough link, but... Crazy card. 97 pace on Fella. Romarino as well. Oh my days. Beto. He was definitely one of the originals, wasn't he? Like the original Founders Evo. Same with Dan Juma. We see there he is. Okay. A lot of you boys be getting this man done today. Beto looks pretty solid as well. Uh, and we kind of fizzle out, I think. But still, some ridiculous cards. Black Stinius as well was a big fan favourite towards the start. I know Zwayback uh, evolved her. Leon Bailey with the 85 rated there. Anyone else who's going to blow my mind real quick. Oh, a Langer. This man's Silver Star, by the way. Was it Silver Stars? That promo, the Silver promo last year, he was unreal for me. This is still eligible as well with Bud and Starlet too. Tell you what, I've been busy with work this week, but I'm off tomorrow, so we are grinding some evolutions. If there's any like combination you want me to do for a review, please do let me know down below. I'll definitely get it done. Ansu Fati, wow, 95 pace. This is, of course, still possible as well. And it's completely free to get this card. That's huge, man. Because he's overpowered this year, 100%. Five-star, four-star. And Sufati, are you kidding me? EA Sports, you are cooking something and I'm enjoying it. What are we saying here? There's some mad cards, by the way. Look at some of these stats. They are absolutely insane. So many different crazy options and combinations you could do now of evolutions. By the way, one thing I will say for sure before we end it here. Um, and Buomo as well. Big Antonio. With evolutions, it seems to be the case that you shouldn't be rushing into them. Unless there's a card that you definitely want to do, you shouldn't be rushing into it. You should be hanging fire for at least a little bit and seeing if you're able to chain evolutions, in my opinion, because there's some madness possible. Like McCurdy here with 97 pace. I know it's going to be a crazy one. But this to be fair, Budden style has been an absolute madness. It's been so good for getting crazy cards here. Anyway, I need to end it here. As I said, it's my birthday. I'm busy tonight, so I've got to go and get ready. But I hope you did enjoy. Let me know who you're going to do, all the crazy cards that you're able to whip up right now. And if you want me to do a special kind of evolution for a video tomorrow, let me know in the comment section. I'll be more. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you later.